Alright, hello everyone, my name and welcome back to another account review. We are today on Bender's account, and he does have 90,000 power currently. He is a low spender account, and he's currently in the voice call, so he'll be here to listen and ask some questions. If if you guys want to do that as well, that's of course um, acceptable, you just need to ask me uh, before we do anything. Alright, so let's get right into it, we're going to take a look over the events really quickly. He did recharge a little bit, I'm assuming monthlies or something like that. Um, welfare uh, he did uh, this but again I'll I said this a couple of times the best uh, you can either do this uh, but the problem with that is um, I, you have uh, the six of these points left so what I did today as well and what I usually do is uh, either spend um, 3.15k uh, and that way you can get uh, all three of these weekly jackpots and it's just the most efficient way to um, to do it uh, yeah, you can. If you didn't buy any, it's m it might be a good idea to actually finish it. But I'm not gonna do that, of course. Uh, that's up to you. But yeah, 3.15k is the best way uh, to do uh, K rebate uh, since you have these left six points. So yeah, uh, Fuku, you did spend 48. That's a very interesting amount. It's uh, on a SS convoys. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it counts for that. All right. Yeah. So again, I wouldn't really do that again since it's not. Really, uh, I'm assuming you spent the six ingots for the. Yeah, the six ingots for the uh, the convoys daily. That's what I was spending it on. Yeah, again, uh, I mean you can do that, sure, but the best way to spend like these small amount of coupons or ingots is when there's a Mount Mirabeku one, and you can use it to get another uh, hammer thing, and you can get another forty coupons or something like that. So. Yeah, that's All just right. a small tip. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's anything else to talk about. I'm hoping you're doing these, uh, kind of. I mean, uh, you already finished it, so you don't need it, okay? Uh, again, here, yeah, you got the right thing. Uh, okay, let's look at your server currently, where you are. You're in number four. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see if there's any pains already. Jin Wu, okay. Uh, yeah, but free start. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um... I didn't even look at your ninjas yet, but uh, yeah, just get free to play. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's take a look at your ninjas. Okay, that's looking nice. Um, okay, that's not fully finished. Windblade Awesome here. Let's see what you're using for talents. Um, okay, I'm assuming you did the Konoha Proxy for this. That's the best way to get chases. Uh, you can just go into the website, but you can either just take a look here and see what's the best. Um, you're saving all these. Let's see if you have anything interesting here. Any jackpots? No. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're saving these. You should probably save them a bit more uh, since you can do enos with them. Uh, if you know you're not kind server kind of, you're saving seal skill, which is good. Um, I'm assuming you just got a flag, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing really that interesting here. Okay, let's go with your ninjas and see your teams and stuff like that. If there's anything, you're using ghost skill, um, which again, uh, for I mean, you're putting Obito on attack, which is the right one, uh, but again, um, for Obito, what I usually use is either Thunder God or Tiger Hunt, usually Tiger Hunt, uh, but this is also just fine. Uh, this is our ghost skill is probably the best one to invest in so uh, you're going to be using it for illusion and stuff like that as well okay let's look at your other teams and see if there's uh, some other stuff okay you're using this for nine tails to see if you have zabuzar currently since uh, no you don't okay so what you can do i'm gonna actually say that in a bit once we finish your teams this is your second illusion uh sure this can this could work it's a little bit weird but it's the best i have to work with yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fine. Uh, just this gamma doesn't really make a lot of sense here, uh, since uh, you need kind of the mystic in attack. Uh, attack can actually steal their standard attack, so it's a bit. Bro I mean, I'm not sure uh, if it works in the second illusion. Uh, but yeah, you can probably uh, even. Let's see what you can do here, though. Again, you don't really have a lot of ninjas here is uh, fine since it's a uh, you know a newer account so yeah this might actually be the best you can do 
uh, for now. Depends on how long you last, but again. Okay, that's a nice team. <laughs> um, third illusion. Uh, here you can actually put even um, Choji uh, instead of Gemma. Do you have? I think I saw Choji. Um, yeah, you can kind of use him. He's going to be a bit. Uh, do extra damage because of the standards and this is I guess fine I mean it's just a fake power team okay let's go back to your main and look take a look here okay again uh, for this recruitment thing uh, I know I'm doing it as well but I'm not really doing it right because you want to take a look at when ninjas like Toby I'm like 90% sure Toby you can get from recruitment so basically why I do that you can go here and recruit and you see all these ninjas you can get from here so if you get a ninja enough frags for any of this ninja that's in this recruit once you recruit them if you recruit them now and then you get a copy of them you're gonna get like 10 or 15 fragments but if you wait and don't recruit them or recruit them and you get them from here you're gonna get recruit them automatically and then you're gonna have all of these fragments as a bonus so you're gonna be mm, able to four star most of them like that's what I did when I, I got Jinpachi, I made a mistake of recruiting him instantly and I got him and recruit and I was able to have him 4 stars but I had him 3 stars because I didn't save. So yeah, here uh, you don't have a lot of these, uh, you don't have these as well but again, uh, this can be kind of helpful uh, since uh, uh, this is actually very helpful because uh, you, uh, these 8 chaser standard attacks are, can actually do a lot and it will help you a lot especially in an illusion and fighting as well standard here as you can see um, they steal all their standard attack attempts so that's actually pretty useful as well uh, I think this is fine um, yeah but you got this one which I mostly use but you could also use this one depending on the situation uh, I'm assuming you didn't really do GP or did you just get unlucky could be both um, but yeah Okay, let's take a look at your power situation. Uh, though I didn't even check your initiative, that's a rookie mistake. Okay, you have 9.7k. Um, I think that's fine. Though you can get that a bit higher, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at that in the power up menu actually. Uh, so here, now you have an issue with the money. Uh, I mean, I had that in the beginning. So what's the best way to get money? Uh, you're gonna get some from here, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, you're gonna get some from Nine Tails. That's the best way to get money. Uh, you just do Nine Tails, and you got a good amount of money. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be able to. I mean, you're, that means you're progressing fast, kind of, since um, you're leveling up a bit too quickly for your own good. Uh, yeah, this is good. Just you know, focus P two P three P four in that order, and you're gonna be just fine. There you have um, these as well. So you might as well just continue. There's no real reason to do this kind of boost when you can get um, that boost on your P1 or Obito. That's going to be more worth it on Obito than on your main. Um, yeah, here it seems it's fine. Oh. I mean, this doesn't really matter that much. It's all just like uh, very small details, but yeah, it's fine. Um, so yeah, just get some of these to level 4, I don't know which one, you, yeah, these to level 4 you can get, and then just focus on this guy for the rest of the game, pretty much until you get some level 7s and 8s, um, so that's what you can do. Uh, also, uh, let's take a look, I'm not sure if I showed this before, but you can do team instance here, which it seems you're doing, you can ask some um, more powerful guy on the server to help you, and you can sweep this every day, and it does give you uh, a good amount of stuff, so you can close this, it's going to give you rewards anyway. Uh, let's continue with this uh, refines. Okay, I talk about refines every time, every single time I do this uh, uh, account review. So basically, just check what you what you did here. Okay, so uh, let's check this. Okay, so basically, uh, what you should do is you can go here. You do not have a lot of these. Uh, are you spending one all on keys? And that's what I'm assuming you're buying. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so keys are the best thing to buy uh, until you are good with your refines and you are missing still some because uh, s some of these are still level 1 
and it is pretty worth it to get them all to level 4 at least, all the other P's positions. Uh, so you get all of them to level 4, and here, you're level 6, 5, 5, 5. It's not a terrible idea to also invest some of them to get to 7, and then you stop. Once you get to 7, you stop, and you get, you start saving the... Um, uh, I actually have like 40 things. optional packs of them. Yeah, but again, um, here, uh, so what's the thing? So, yeah, you can get some um, medium runes, but uh, once you finish that, you're gonna be like you're gonna have medium runes for days. So you're only investing for them now, but later in the game, you're gonna have a lot of them. So you're gonna okay. it's like a short-term investment that's not gonna pay off. Again, same thing with uh, advanced runes. It is gonna take a long time. Like I never opened a single of the <laughs> a single of the uh, optional pack. Because I'm saving all of them for epic runes because I'm going to need them the most and they're the hardest to get. Uh, like advanced rune, I think you need about like 1k something uh, to go from level 7 to level 10. And once you start doing illusion, uh, perfect. Oh, you're number 1. Nice, good job. So once you get these packs, in these packs you can get advanced refine runes. And per week you can get about like 40 to 50 advanced runes just from illusion. So that just does add up quite a bit. So yeah, it really depends on what kind of player are you. If you're trying to get mm, to invest more, I would not get any um, optional pack, not use them. Since you're gonna get the medium runes, you can buy them here. So uh, it's the best thing to, for now is you can just invest into this a bit. Stop with the, the keys. I mean, the keys are the best thing until your refines are set, but you're gonna, get, you're gonna set your refines really easily because it's really easy to get them leveled up. It's not like advanced or epics. Like it only takes 40. Like later is gonna take like a thousand and some of that. For the last one, I think it's like 2.5K. So it's like a lot. So yeah, it's not a bad idea to just invest in some of this to get them to level seven. And then you're gonna take individually each one of them from level seven to 10, depending on your purification. So here, again, uh, you're gonna get these just from playing. Uh, but as I said before, um, you want to focus on the top three. Like this one is great. Uh, you just want to get uh, the injury. Right? But again, initiative is the most important here. Um, again, on these ones, you don't really, yeah, you don't really need to focus on these until your P1 is sorted. I mean, you can your P2 a bit, but your P1 is just that important. Uh, yeah, this is fine. So what you want to do is just focus on these three. And if you get a, like a good one, like this one. Uh, or no, it was this one, yeah. So this decides what you're gonna get and refine. So if you refine this to level 10 first, these stats are gonna be uh, like a 99% critical of that. Like that's much better to, to refine this and you'll get like 65. So your purifications are gonna decide what you're gonna refine basically. So yeah, this, this is just a very slow mechanic. It's very RNG, so there's no really easy way to get all golds. Uh, but also, yeah, once you get the uh, breakthrough pills, I mean, you still don't have any, I'm assuming. So uh, that again, just the best one. You're know, just going to boost that one. Um, that's just going to give you an extra percent. They're pretty hard to get. Uh, but if you do want to continue uh, with spending some money, it's not a bad investment to do the um, to lucky the wheel thing. Uh, if you spend like 2k coupons there, you can get a free purification pill, which is pretty nice for... Uh, pay to win players uh, yeah I'm assuming you're doing this just fine you did one today so yeah level fours I mean these were much easier to get uh, than Megatamas uh, but yeah level, level eights are fine um, now what you can do is either finish this or maybe try and bring everybody to level five since you get some level fives for free uh, I mean they don't do much honestly uh, but it's just something like when you're p2 maybe you can get level five because I mean, it doesn't really matter, again, because P2s are going to die at this level pretty easily, uh, and ob is going to stay up the longest. So it's not a bad idea to just fully focus on him, but sometimes you want to go back and just, like, you don't want to have level 4s uh, when you have, like, 150k power or 2k 50 power. Like, I mean, it's not, like, a great mistake, but it's just, like, the min-maxing pretty much. Here, again, you're just going to wait for the refine. Um, a rebate and then just do it because and just do it on p1 for now uh, later you can try and get everyone to level four that's not a bad idea at all 
uh, but for now you're just gonna go a bit until it gets too expensive you're gonna do just charm rebates full charm rebates you're not gonna spend like half or anything just save them and you're gonna get them eventually all right your summons I hope you're saving them uh, it seems you are again uh, here I hope you got all yeah you got all the free ones you can get uh, but yeah I say this multiple times if you do now decide to spend all um, these hundred sure you're gonna get some of the um, uh, some of the these uh, yellow ones legendary ones whatever uh, you're gonna get some of them but uh, you're not gonna get any points or anything you can use to further improve them if you get 500 you're gonna get some packs for some better uh, legendaries uh, some of these guys right here uh, some of these uh, which you cannot get from summoning them so it's a boost for getting some better uh, legendaries and once you do your 500 there's like a 95 or something a percent chance you're gonna get all of these because you by spending 500 you're just gonna get all of them at the same time and even if you get one now uh, a lot of people don't have their summoning jitsu leveled up so they can't even cultivate the legendary ones so yeah that's just good what you're doing uh, treasure tools I hope you're investing in all into a single one uh, a little bit. I mean, this is fine. Okay. Suggest, so yeah, rope is the best. You're gonna just focus on this, finish it. Um, here, I think you did this today, and yeah, you're gonna keep uh, them in this order. Dimension being the best, so, but you also wanna keep them in the same level since that's the most efficient since they all give a lot of initiative. Um, but yeah, just dimension and stuff like that. I mean, this is fine. Um, you can keep them until you get uh, S rope and then put S rope on everyone. Uh, let's see the eight inner gates. I mean, you don't want to really do this now since you're you don't have a lot of money and you're not doing this, so that's fine. But once you start doing this, your main goal is gonna be this quick one right here. You're gonna get eighty thousand practice points, but just clicking this auto practice. Uh, I'm not sure if I show you the glitch, but you can click auto practice and then just click this, and it's gonna automatically like fill everything up and start waiting. But I'm not gonna do that since you don't have money. Um. Mummy Goku again, I talked about this the same, so you're going to take a look at, at the cheapest one, invest into that, and just finish it. Um, there is no really reason to invest coupons in anything here, because it doesn't give that much. You're, there's a lot of better places to invest. Uh, Bell Armor, same thing, just level up passively. Um, see if you've got any cool clothing. Um, I mean the basics, which is fine. Uh, you don't really need any clothing, they don't really give much. Uh, since that's just how the game is, it's just for aesthetics. But it's nice to have some, uh, I mean like 4 or 5k is one clothing full, I think. About the cheapest, or it's like for 4k. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so yeah, but, um, you don't, you have like a couple of them, so what you want to do is, um, this is good, you're leaving them level 7. You want this Shikamaru to be leveled up. So you don't want to level these guys to level 7. Uh, you want to level Shikamaru to level 6. And then level these up. Because uh, for 30, you can get like um, one of these. But for Shikamaru, you can get 3 for the price of 30. And it's just a better investment. You just invent to a, a lower level guide to finish this. Because you're, like, you're 4 away. And that's going to be costing a good amount of... Uh, training potions instead of you can like if you invest that into Shikamaru you're gonna get a uh, bigger level and you're gonna get more stats in the end so yeah just focus on Shikamaru for now and then bring everybody to level 7 and just wait since it's not really worth it to get le any level 8s since you're missing everybody really kinda uh, but yeah uh, your next goal I didn't really say much about that because it really depends on the team you have but you wanna try and get some of these um, Taka guys because they're Every time you, you chase something, they give, um, they increase the attack, so that's pretty good. Like Karin was the best for a moderate team, but it really depends on the team you're going and what you need. Okay, let's look at the secret skull plates. Um, yeah, same thing here. Just bring everything to the same level, like get this to level eight before you get this to any level nines. But again, you're missing a lot, so it's not a bad idea to just next Fuku. You 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 can you're gonna get like. Um, you can just do the 20k on GP and the rest on Lucky Stars. That's probably the best deal for you now since you're missing a good amount of training potions and stuff like that and protections. But after that, what you can do is just start buying command flags and you can just start buying um, secret skull plates. 
the event is not right now but it's the color banner banner thing and you can buy stuff there which i did a couple of times already but yeah you don't want to do this for power uh, it's I, it's better to do two 35ks than 160k if you're looking for power since you get more stuff out of it uh, but yeah i think that's pretty much it uh, i'm not sure if you have something you want me to look at exactly uh, and comment on or no nothing really all right but yeah um that's pretty much it though it seems we're on the same server as well uh pretty sure uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you do guys want your account reviewed, uh, just join the Discord and send me a request and I'll try and get to it as fast as I can. If you want to be in a call while I do this, that's of course acceptable and you just need to hit me up about it. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.